Hello everyone, welcome to Game Tech UK. Having a play on the Oculus with the touch controllers and a new game that's come into early access isn't all, aren't all games on early access recently, have you noticed? Um, especially with VR, I, I understand the reasons why they need to, need to get their ideas out there. Um, show us, show the show the, the public what they've got um, so they can fund the rest of the game. And, and I, I, I do believe in this game. I've played it already. I'm going to take you through the tutorial. It's called Iron Wolf VR. It was £15 on Steam in early access. I don't know if it's going to go up afterwards. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Um, but it's a submarine, a World War II submarine simulator really really good it's got some fantastic features some real unique uses of vr um i think i say it in in the actual um video but i think we're all sick to death of wave-based shooters um just standing there shooting this this is different this has got something special about it um so let's get in let's have a look so here we are in the menu i'm going to take you through the tutorial um it's quite quick um but it will give you a good taste of what the game's about i love this let's stand here this is really bright sort of neon graphic it tells me where to stand absolutely love that right tutorial let's hit it and here we are we're in this claustrophobic i feel like i've got to talk quietly <laughs> we're in this it's claustrophobic world war ii submarine uh, look at it. Look, look at the cockpit you're given in this game. This is basically the HUD, isn't it? Um, but what a better way to portray to you VR. There's two rooms. There's another room in there. Look at that. Wow. Grab and fully open the ballast intake. Okay. The sound's really nice. I'm missing that... Uh, that metallic smell you know when you go to like a museum and you've got that smell of just pure metal i would love uh, a little magic tree hanging below my nose with, <laughs> with a submarine scent on it awesome right turn this off uh, so below 100 meters the submarine will start taking crush damage grab it and fully open the air intake to reduce ballast it's really good really good the lighting is absolutely superb now a lot of these things it's doing for you in the main game you're going to have to watch the gauges and stuff so i think it's going to be a proper sim as far as uh, as far as it can be enemy ships and planes can easily spot you on the surface we're just going to the depth meter now this is going to be quite a slow detailed game it's not going to be like you know it's not a, a button mashing sim this is something that you get immersed in and i love the lighting you know you i don't i'm hoping it's coming across to you uh, obviously all the corners it might be quite dark but this is really atmospheric in here move to the outside now you're going to love this bit it goes from this claustrophobic um really tight space check this out so you're going to love this Look at this. Look, I'm standing on top of the submarine. Look at what they've done with the ocean. It looks absolutely fantastic. The skybox, I love. The waves, I love. I really do love it. And it, 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 what, a, what a juxtaposition to being down in there, to feeling the, almost feeling the breeze up here and feeling the fresh air. Really, really good. Um, so if you take too much damage from planes, the submarine's going to dive. Oh, can you imagine when there's planes flying across here and I've got to use this to kill them? The anti-aircraft gun is used to destroy planes. Grab the handle. Look at this. Now, there's only one thing I don't like. Look at the, the sort of... The, I, like, I like the effect of it shooting. The gun going in and out is absolutely awesome. The explosion effect is, is fine. Uh, but you've got this sort of silly ray thing, which are, it's early access. I'm sure well, I can do it over there. Move the gun, the ray's still there. Not a problem, it's early access. Um, for an early access title, this is really well polished. I love this. And it really does feel like the waves are, are random. I'd like maybe a bit more splashing up the sides, certainly up there, a bit more splashing. But yeah, pull the handle on the hatch below and go down. Pretty good, isn't it? What do you think of that bit? That bit to me is absolutely fantastic so this is this is going to be our map now i think most of the gameplay is going to be based on here you're going to see other um, you're going to see mines you're going to see other submarines you're going to see other boats 
this this is this is where your main gameplay screen is going to think. So it's going to be an interesting game. It's going to be a lot different to what we're used to. Most of it, you're going to be down here in this tiny little room, checking out that map. Uh, it's going to be good. The highlighted waypoint. So this is the waypoint. You can see we're pointing up there. We need to go 90 degrees. So you've got the steering wheel. It's not called a steering wheel, I'm sure. Now put the engine order forward. Again, all that sound. I, I'm hoping that's from the real submarine or as close as it can do it. And then obviously you can see the hydroplane. Everything's all moving. It's not a fast thing. You know, this is this is meant to be this way. Nice and slow and deliberate. And you can see him moving on the uh, on the map. Really good. The haze around the lights, the rusty, the rustiness up there is really, really good. I'm hoping you can see that. So the tutorial is automatically going to sit it, but when you're in game, you need to, you need to do all this yourself. I think I'm I'm really hoping that the tutorial continues, and there's a little bit of hand holding. I really do because this is going to be quite difficult. You have arrived. It's best to attack from periscope depth. Oh my god. Fully open the water intake on your left. So we're going to go to periscope depth. The depth. You're going to love the periscope. You think outside is good. You're going to love it. Move into the room. So what they're saying is it's fully immersive. There's no, uh, there's no um, teleportation system. We just click that. The door goes up. And now we're in the other room. So that was the room we was in. Now we're here, pull the periscope down. I don't know if you're a 70s or an 80s child, you grew up with the game uh, called Battleships, uh, which was like a board game with a bit in between you. And now suddenly, I'm doing this in VR. Absolutely awesome. You're going to love this bit. So there's the periscope. So we've got to raise the periscope here. Now watch it. What I'm hoping you can see this really well. If you're watching there, obviously the periscope's underwater at the moment. We're going to send it out look at that look at the water on the lens as it comes out oh my god that is really good look, and you can actually put it underwater this is really good submarine enthusiasts are gonna love this you know right we've got to move it to 90 degrees right we're gonna hit this thing now this tells you when the, the target's locked on so we lock that Right, now we've got four um, uh, torpedoes to fire. Fire torpedo A! <laughs> I'm getting right into this now. <laughs> I, would, I would like to see a little bit of the water drift as the, to as the torpedo goes forward. Didn't see anything on that one. Fire torpedo C. Oh, got him. And there it is, it's sinking. So that's it everyone, I just I wanted to show you this, I, as soon as I saw this I was desperate to show you something unique, I think we're all fed up of wave based shooters in VR, this is using using the space within that you've got um, to create something that's really really immersive and fantastic, I love VR and I will see you in the next one.